The drivetrain. Now, if you've already got a BMW R9 T Generation 3, that's the 21 to 23 model, or even if you've ridden any of the um, R9Ts previously to that, you will recognise this drivetrain. You'll feel at home straight away on it. This one here, the R12, has been limited to 95 brake horse. That means that it can then be limited again to get into the A2 license, but you're not getting any less of a bike than if you're going to go for the R12 9T. We've ridden around the mountains of Portugal, and honestly, we couldn't tell the difference. We were scraping pegs, having a wild time. The biggest difference between the previous models and this is that you do get that quick shifter that allows you to go up and down the box. All of a sudden, rides are an absolute dream. You're not worrying about the clutch. You come into a corner, a bit too hot maybe, bang it down another gear, throw it in, and then, you know, standard as we all know, roll it on in third and fourth, and it's just gonna go. I didn't think I really used anything outside of third and fourth gear the entire time that I was riding on the day. There is so much low end torque, even in the town, you can just plod, 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 roll it on and away you go.